Welcome to the NBA Pick Show presented by Underdog Fantasy alongside Tyler Weeman. I am Shannon Somerville, and we've got your top three NBA player picks for today on Underdog Fantasy. If you don't have Underdog Fantasy, go ahead and download it. Use the promo code LINESTAR when you do, so you can get up to $100 of your first deposit match. Great way to get in the game. If you're into fantasy sports, you definitely got to check out Underdog Fantasy because it's one of the easiest apps to use. Just pick higher or lower on your favorite players and Watch those entries cash. Hopefully we can get a good one for you guys today. It's getting harder at the end of the season with some uncertainty, you know, some big spreads. So we've got a lot to consider here as we head into the final weeks of the season. Tyler, I know that this is an area where you kind of dial it back a little bit. Uh, What is your recommendation for playing at this point in the season? What things do we need to be aware of? Yeah, I mean, I I definitely dial it back. There's just so much more variance because a lot of teams aren't focusing on playing their, you know, their stars unless they have some sort sort of playoff situation that they're kind of managing. And, you know, the teams that are well out of it, like they're just going to next season mode. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, yesterday on our picks, just one and two, I I let everybody down, though. I'm going to bear the brunt of that because I said, Josh Hart, let's hammer uh, the higher there. And in fact, he did not go higher, man. The Knicks brutal loss to to the Heat yesterday. And of course, Jimmy Butler, he didn't go higher than his points prop either. So that was my fault because that was Kind of one of my recommendations. However, we're going to get back after it today. We've got three great picks. And if you have a really good pick, drop it in the comments below. We're all trying to help each other out to put together the winning entry on Underdog Fantasy. So make sure also if you comment, it'll enter you into our contest whereby if we go three for three, one randomly selected commenter will win $60. We'll announce that on the show tomorrow. So let's get it rolling here. We're going to start off with a guy we've been going to a lot recently just because he's been making the most of the opportunity he's been afforded with a lot of injuries. And that's, we're going to Portland Blazers guard Scoot Henderson higher than four rebounds line stars projection at 5.4 Henderson had eight rebounds against Orlando on Monday. And he's been averaging 3.6 over the last month or so. The biggest factor in this one, of course, as I mentioned at the top, Portland is without Malcolm Brogdon, Anthony Simons, Shaden Sharp, Matisse Thibel, plus Jeremy Grant, Justin Minaya listed as doubtful in this one. And this is an area we've been leaning into because we know he's going to get the minutes at least. And that's kind of the name of the game when we're playing these um, pickums here. What do you think, Tyler? Yeah, I, I think leaning into his minutes is a good thing. So over the last 20 games, he's averaging 4.4 rebounds per game. And that's in 31 minutes. But the last couple of games, he's played 41 and 35 minutes. I think his minutes are well on the rise as long as, you know, he doesn't get into quick foul trouble, which he's absolutely capable of. But versus the Hornets, and Hornets are also majorly beat up. I don't expect foul trouble to be a big issue there. Uh, mm-hmm. the Hornets are giving up you know, five rebounds a game to the point guard. And it's actually the best matchup for point guard rebounds on the slate. Mm. They are allowing 0.95 additional rebounds over average, over NBA average. So I like the spots and uh, good old team defense tool gave us that uh, extra info. Gotta love that line star app uh, matchup tool there for, uh, for team defense tool rather. But if you want to check out linestarapp.com, make sure to do so. We also are using the props AI tool on LineStar to help us make our picks. We have a tab specifically that sorts the underdog fantasy picks. So it's a great way to sort through all of the different pick em options for the day. So let's keep it rolling. Tyler, where are you headed for your favorite pick on underdog fantasy today in NBA action? I'm going to head over to the Boston Celtics with Kristaps Porzingis higher than 8.5 rebounds plus assists. I just think this line is too low. Lions star projections 10.2. Consensus is 9.4. Uh, Porzingis is averaging 9.4, and he's in a plus matchup versus OKC. Uh you know, assist wise, it's an average matchup, but rebound wise, it's a plus matchup. They're allowing 0.95 uh, additional rebounds to the center position. And on the season, OKC is allowing 12.3 per game. So I like the spot, and I think uh, good old Zingus goes over. All right, let's get it. 
For my pick, I'm going to the Los Angeles Lakers and going with point guard D'Angelo Russell, higher than 23 and a half points and assists. Line starts projecting Russell for just just under 24 points and assists, but I think he clears that. He's been averaging 26.1 points and assists per game over the last month and a very good matchup today going up against Washington that ranks 28th in points and assists to opposing point guards. Now, one of the interesting things here in this game, and Tyler and I we just had a conversation before the show started about, you know, whether this is like blowout city situation, how much are we actually going to see of LeBron and AD? From my perspective, I think if this gets out of hand early, you're not going to see AD and LeBron for very long, in which case that could bode well for D'Angelo Russell and some of his props. But either way, regardless of whether they play, the spot he's in against Washington is very good. So Washington, um, they rank dead last in opponent points in the paint. They just are allowing teams to attack them from the interior every single time, which could bode well for that assist part of the equation as well. So... Uh, I just like the spot here for D'Angelo Russell, so I'm going to back this one today. I hope, what were your thoughts on that one? You can elaborate on on the yes. Uh, this is actually a pretty significant game for the Lakers, too. I mean, the Lakers are at a position for the playoff race that they need to win the games they're supposed to win. So I don't expect them to, you know, sit AD or LeBron. Uh, however, if it is a giant blowout, which it very well could be, I mean, the Lakers need to put all the effort they can into the game. Uh, you could see, you know, a little less minutes for LeBron AD in the fourth, but Lakers are definitely in, I uh, need to win every game they possibly can situation. They mm -hmm. could move up to as far as like six in the playoff race, but they could also drop out of the playoff race. So really Ooh. every game counts for them at this point. All right. So those are our three picks. Again, we're going Scoot Henderson higher than four rebounds, KP higher than eight and a half rebounds and assists, and D'Angelo Russell higher than 23 and a half points and assists. If you've got any that you like, drop them in the comments below. A comment also enters you into our concept contest where if we go three for three on this entry one randomly selected commenter will win sixty dollars gotta be in it to win it happy wednesday everybody i hope you all cash those tickets get that money and download underdog fantasy if you don't have it already use that promo code linestar once again for a hundred dollars of your deposit match good luck we'll be back with mlb picks coming up here soon so make sure you're keeping it with the line star youtube channel we got tons of content coming out right now so we'll get to our mlb picks and we'll see you soon